In this video, I'm going to look at using sketch contours in SolidWorks sketches. Sketch contours are denoted by this symbol instead of the usual sketch symbol. Sketch contours allow you to use parts of a sketch to create features. Another advantage of using this method is that you can reuse the same sketch to create different features. The contour select tool may need to be turned on and we'll look at this later in SOLIDWORKS. When it's active, this symbol will appear in your sketch and on your design tree. To activate the Contour Select tool, just right click in the graphics area or a sketch and choose Contour Select tool. So sketch contours will allow you to create features from different parts of the same sketch. So here we have a sketch with two circles inside a rectangle and we can extrude different regions of this sketch we can pick on individual contours like a rectangle or a circle or if we press the control key we can combine different regions. If the contour select tool is not on your menus on the screen or on the feature manager you can right click and add it to your menu by ticking the box. So when you use the contour select tool you can then extrude different parts of the same sketch through different amounts and when you reuse a sketch you'll see the hand symbol there underneath the sketch contour symbol telling you that you've shared or reused the sketch. So again here the same sketch being used to create different features so we see that with the hand symbol there. If you press the alt key you can select the area to be extruded directly in the sketch and if you combine that with the control key you can select multiple areas. A limitation of the contour select tool is that if you're reusing a sketch you can only select on the original face if you want to pick a region so you may have to turn the model upside down but you can select a contour like a circle or rectangle through the model. So when you have nested contours you can see they go from light on the outside to darker on the inside and if you press the Alt key, you can select any of these regions for extrusion. So we look at this example later on in SolarWorks, where we have the profile here of an oil pump and we have all the features in a single sketch and we can use that single sketch to create all the features. So this is what the tree looks like. You have four features all sharing the same sketch. So the first feature is just the extruded circle. Then we have the figure of eight recess then we cut all the holes through all and finally we have the last two recesses and that would give us our completed model. We'll go on now and look at sketch contours in SOLIDWORKS. The first exercise I look at here is this sketch here which consists of rectangles and circles and we also have a line running through there the center of the rectangle. So we've got different areas inside in this sketch here. Now if you want to use the contour select tool you just need to check that you have it added. Now if it doesn't appear there when you right click in the graphics area go down here to the bottom on the chevron customize the menu and make sure contour select is ticked. So in the feature manager here if you right click in the sketch you can see you've got contour select tool here also. Again if you click on the chevron here customize the menu and just make sure that contour select tool is selected. If I press the alt key here you'll notice that this region here highlights and if keeping the alt key pressed changes over to this region here. If I want to select both regions together if I press the alt key and the control key I will select that area there. Now to extrude that you could go up here to the features toolbar and select extruded boss base and I'll extrude this upwards so let's reverse the direction and extrude it up and these are the two regions that you selected okay so these are your your contours and click OK and that creates the first feature for you there. If you expand out your tree you see the symbol here for your sketch contour. It looks like a polygon here with a circle inside it so that's your, your sketch contour. Now if I right click on that sketch and I select contour select tool there's your symbol. I could pick an area of this that I wanted to extrude. Now I can click on the circles or I could select the entire rectangle or if I wanted to pick a region inside in the model I would have to go to the bottom face. You cannot select regions through the geometry. So if I go to the bottom face 
you can see the different areas there highlighted. To create another feature now with the same sketch, if I right click on the sketch, I can select the contour select tool. Now I can pick the outline there like that. I can select the individual circles, but if I wanted to select a region, I'll have to go to the original sketch face like here. So if I select that area there, say, and if I select this semicircle here, so I'm just going to press the control key. And if I press S for shortcut, this then will allow me to extrude those two regions. So we can extrude them up or down, whichever you want. You can give them different direction if you want and click OK. So this is our model at the minute. We have the same sketch and it's been shared or reused. OK, so you have the hand symbol there telling you that you have shared the sketch between the two features. You can also right click in the graphics area and use the contour select tool from here. If I click that area there, press the shortcut key and I want to extrude this and I'm going to extrude it in the opposite direction. Let's extrude that down there. 10 millimeters. And there's a third feature and so on. And when you're finished, you can hide the sketch. And there's our model at this stage. So now have a look at the aisle pump that we showed earlier on the slides. So I'm going to control tab over to our aisle pump sketch. So Here's our sketch and you can practice your sketching by creating this if you wish. So we start by creating the circular boss. Click contour select. As I move around there, you can see it'll highlight different areas for you there. If I just click the circle there, press S for shortcut. And I've added here in the sketch toolbar the extrude feature. So if you don't have that there, you can customize your sketch shortcut toolbar. So click on that. Now when I'm adding this feature, I'm going to reverse the direction so that I have all my regions here at the front. So I'm going to give it a distance of 32. So our sketch contour is here at the front, which is our circle. And there's our first feature. Right click, contour select. And now you can pick different regions in here. If I click this area here, again, S for shortcut. So if I want to cut into the model and the depth of this is 22. And again, so these are your selected contours. So click on that and let's extrude that in there. So you look at your sketches here as before, same sketch shared and reused, and they're both contours as we're using part of the sketch. Contour select tool, so right click on the sketch, contour select tool. And you see here that we can now, having right clicked on the sketch, you can pick different regions to extrude. Now, in this case, I want to extrude the holes here. Now I can control click on them. Now I do need the other two, but I'm going to go S for shortcut and select extruded cut. So here are the four that we selected already. If you want to add two more, you can just click on those two there. And they are now added in here. And the ink condition here is through all and click OK. So now we've got the holes running through there. Once again, let's right click in the sketch, select the contour select tool. And if I click in this region here, control select in this region here, S for shortcut, extrude a cut and I can cut these two areas. And in this case, we're going to cut these down to a depth of 19 millimeters and click OK. So here's our model at this stage. The sketch is on the front surface there because for our first feature, we extruded away from the sketch. And the reason for that was so that we could create the additional features by clicking within regions here on the front surface. So when you're finished, you can hide the sketch and here's the finished model. So we've got four features all created from a single sketch. So that's sketch contours 
Use that now in some of your exercises. Thank you.